Previously on the world's worst backpacker. I got shoes. Yes, it is a big deal. I had boots. I got shoes. And now the world's worst backpacker. Preparing for the Pacific Crest Trail 2017. Part 5. Good morning. Welcome to February in California. I'm road walking this morning because we've had a lot of rain recently in California and it's washed out a lot of the trails. Let me say that one more time. We've had a lot of rain recently in California and it washed out a lot of the trails. Good morning, ladies. I won't get a chance to say that about the rain, I mean, for another 10 years or so. So I figure I might as well get my uh, opportunities in while I can. Ah, it's a beautiful morning though, as you can tell from the shaky camera. So let's see. In the last month of preparing for the PCT, I've ripped two pairs of pants, I've ripped the gloves that I'm wearing right now, and I've gone through a pair of trail runners. Just over 300 miles on them. Not a whole lot. I'm hoping it's just that pair and not every pair uh, because that would suck. So today's video I'm calling lists because when I posted my last video basically I pooped out. I got really tired. Why? Because this is really hard. <laughs> It gets really difficult after a while, especially like right now I'm carrying 37 pounds on my back. Why? Because I want to get used to carrying all that water. I've got five liters on me right now. And when I'm crossing the desert, I figure I'm going to need to uh, be used to at least that. Hopefully, hopefully with all the rain this year, water supplies won't be so limited. Anyway, like the hat? In the hat, uh, this is what happens when you throw your hat in the back of your car and you don't worry about what falls on top of it. Um, also, it's what happens when you're 51 years old and you're married and who gives a shit? Anyway, <laughs> lists. I was talking about lists. So, uh, I started talking last month about why I want to hike the Pacific Crest Trail. So, let's uh, go over to Ken right now who can finish that up. Hi, I'm here to tell you about the top five porn stars I would... What? Reasons I would hike the PCT? Well, I suppose that's safer. I'm here to tell you about the top five reasons why I want to hike the Pacific Crest Trail. And I'm doing it from here in the wilds of Irvine Park in Orange County, California. Why? Because of reason number one, which I started to tell you about in my last video before I basically died. The number one reason why I want to hike the Pacific Crest Trail is the adventure. I want an adventure. And it all started here, ironically enough, because when I was a kid, my mom would take me here and let me run wild, let me explore, let me go uh, you know, now that I think about it, maybe my mom wanted to get rid of me when I was a kid. One way or the other, she gave me complete freedom to search and explore all I wanted, which instilled in me the desire for adventure. And it only took about 40 years for me to figure that out. Uh, now, my mom is a little less open to the idea of, of now yeah, yeah. my mom is a little less open to the idea of adventure and would rather that I stay home where it's safe so sorry ma reason number two why I want to hike the Pacific Crest Trail health see I'm 51 years old and I recently found out that you can't remain on your sofa eating ice cream and pizza, playing video games and watching movies forever. At least 
you can, but you do it dead. So my doctor tells me I have high blood pressure. And uh, I don't want to be the kind of person who has to take blood pressure pills all the time, especially at my age. When I'm 70, fine. I will stay on the sofa and eat ice cream and pop heart pills all day long. But until then, I want to be a little healthier. So the training for the PCT has been the start of that. And actually, it has been helping my blood pressure. And I'm hoping the PCT helps, and then after, I plan to continue to basically kill myself to avoid taking pills. Number three. Um, actually, three and four are both connected. They have to do with my writing career. And number three goes back to last April, when I'm sure you'll remember, I did a dry run, a trial run, a, a stupid idea of hiking the Pacific Crest Trail without training at all. That lasted two days. So after I came back and I wrote and recorded and released uh, The World's Worst Backpacker, I thought it would be a great idea to actually hike the Pacific Crest Trail and actually write about that. I think it might be interesting. Not that I'm running out of ideas for things to write about, believe me. As a matter of fact, that brings me to point four. And I guess the only way to, to explain that would be to say burnout. I am suffering from burnout as a writer. Um, I, the only way to explain burnout would be if someone uh, drilled uh, a hole in my head and put a putty knife in that hole and scraped around whenever I thought about writing. That's what it feels like. It's miserable. So my plan is to wrap up all of my projects that I have uh, ongoing and transition from writer to this new way of life, which is Pack Mule. Pack Mule's a lot harder. And number five, the fifth reason why I want to hike the PCT is a reason I can't explain. I can't tell you. Something got into my head at some point, and um, I just really want to do it. I don't know why. I got the bug. A few years ago, I was doing a, uh, a podcast called So Dream Something, and I interviewed a woman, uh, a, a very, uh, very nice lady, who, whose name I can't remember because I'm in the middle of a park. But um, Ken, can you flash that name up on the screen, please? There you go. That's who she uh, is. I was going to say was, but she still is. And uh, she was fantastic. And the way she talked about the Pacific Crest Trail, it was infectious. And um, I saw a doctor and there was nothing they could do. So here I am. Ken, back to you. Ah, so clearly, there are quite a few reasons why I want to hike the Pacific Crest Trail. And my opportunity is going to be here before I know it. I recently got my permit for April 8th. Now, I know what you're thinking. April 8th, you're out of your mind. Yeah, I know, I know. With all the snow in the Sierras, I know, I'm, I'm, I'm very likely out of my mind. But that has never stopped me before. So, why April 8th? Well, the thing is, is I've got one ace up my sleeve that a lot of PCT through hikers or PCT hikers or PCT day hikers or PCT viewers don't have. And that is that I live in Southern California. So let's say the Sierra snowpack is impassably high or for that matter, impossibly high. I have friends down here. And I have a home down here. So if I need to take a little time to let things melt, 
that's fine. But I don't want to start late and hit the summer heat because this summer is supposed to be a scorcher in Southern California. And uh, I don't doubt that having lived through quite a few of them. The other thing is, we've got some loud birds here. The other thing is, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah. The other thing is, if I get to the Sierras, if I get to Lone Pine and the Sierra passes are snowed in, Bishop is just 50 miles up the 395. Do I have any problem with skipping some of the PCT? No, I have no problem at all with skipping some of the PCT. Because this isn't a prison sentence, it's supposed to be a vacation! So I'll skip as much as I damn well please. I'm hoping not to though. I'd love to see as much as the uh, Fadibin I'd love to see as much of the Sierras as I possibly can. So, that was my list of uh, reasons why I want to hike the PCT. What about all those, all those spooky, scary things that are making me hesitate or might make me stop once I start? Or will make me stop once I start, especially with the really shitty things? Time for another list. Why, hello. You just caught me in the buff. Sorry, it's an old joke, bad pun, but I couldn't help it. So right now, I'm here to give you another list, which is my top five things Trump can suck. Number one. What? Crap. Okay, fine. My top five misgivings I have about hiking the PCT. Number one, so let me start by addressing the 300 pound gorilla in the room, especially since I'm outside. The Sierra Snow. Now, I was hoping to hike the PCT in a nice year, a pleasant year, an easy year. Not anymore. Now there's more snow in the Sierras than, come on, Ken, quick, think of a pun. too bad. Okay, I'll go with that. Cheers. Mmm. Lemon lime Mio. It tastes like sick piss might taste like. I don't know how they managed it. So yeah, there's lots of snow up in the Sierras. And I don't want to die in the snow. That's like towards the bottom of my list. Number two. Homesickness. I know you were expecting to hear mountain lions and bears, right? But the thing is, is I've been out hiking and I still haven't gotten eaten by a mountain lion. I have my shoes coated in beef. No mountain lions. Oh well. So, homesickness. I get homesick. I mean, I get really, really homesick. Listen, my house is just over there, just across the street. It looks like I'm out in nature, but really, no, my house is right there, and I'm already homesick. I'm gonna miss Vicky, I'm gonna miss my dogs, but mostly, I'm gonna miss my sofa. Number three. Number three and number four kind of go together. They are competence and confidence. Why competence? Well. If you want to check the name of this video, I call myself the world's worst hiker for a reason. I always laugh when people put comments on this video like, You suck! You can't hike! <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. Why do you think I call myself the world's worst backpacker? Or world's worst hiker? Either way, not that good. So how am I going to make it on the Pacific Crest Trail? Not a fucking clue. I watch so many videos with people who are so competent, who can fit an entire house in their backpack and it weighs three pounds. I don't know how they do it. I put in a bottle of water and a Kit Kat bar and it weighs 50 pounds. How's that? So yeah, competence. I'm, 
I'm not entirely sure I'm going to be able to do this. If you're watching these, if videos, you're watching these videos with the idea that this is the guy who's going to finish the PCT, you're watching these videos for all the wrong reasons. You watch this for the train wreck. You watch this for the time when I break all the bones in my body because you know it's going to happen any minute now. I could get up from this bench. I'm sitting on a bench. I could get up from this bench and break all the bones in my body just for fun. But I won't because there's number four, confidence. <sighs> Listen, I was raised with a very low level of self-esteem. My self-esteem is all in lowercase letters. My self-esteem is in a very small font. You get the idea? I see all of these videos, all these people who are so, so sure of themselves. They are absolutely certain they're gonna hike the trail. They're gonna finish the BCT. And all of my friends tell me, oh yeah, you'll do it. Yeah, no problem, hell. So uh, what's it, like two miles long? Well, that's how they act. Me? I can't imagine how I'm going to do it. I can't imagine how I'm going to hike 12 miles. Have you seen my last PCT attempt? 11 and a half miles. And I'm thinking with all of this training, maybe 12, maybe 13. Maybe I'll die before search and rescue gets to me so I won't be totally embarrassed. Mmm. It's like liquid vomit. So, that's four. Number five, how about all of those all at once? I swear to God, man, I'm gonna trip over my feet in the first half mile, fall into a snowbank, get eaten by a bear, and then get homesick. So those are my five misgivings. Ugh. Come visit the Great Lakes of Orange County. Fish, boat, and drown in the Great Lakes of Orange County. Come before Tuesday, because by then they'll be dry. Well, that red sign behind me, way over th there. <laughs> I gotta get better at pointing. You like what I've done with my hat? I've tried to make it as, as unappealing as possible. Well, that red sign right over there means that another trail is closed. That means I'm turning around and heading back. But still not a bad hike for this morning, and anyway, gets me out walking about and gets my blood pressure a little bit lower every day. So what happens now? Well, it's uh, the end of February, and uh, only about a week of February left. So I got about six weeks until April 8th. Between now and then, I'm going to hike uh, Scissors Crossings to Warner Springs, and I'll take you along with me. I'm gonna get uh, all this hair shaved the hell off. Why? Because, okay, this is weird. Okay, hold on. I had a hat emergency. There. Why? Because, <laughs> because it's just really nice to hike with really short hair. So, maybe I'll, uh, I'll bring you along for that, too. Um, let's see. I have a new book, Illumination, that is out right now for the Kindle and will be available very soon um, in audiobook and paperback. Uh, I hope you check into that. And also, there are these, too. Well, that's about it for me. I hope to see you out on the trail. If you do, remember, I'm the world's worst backpacker, and I can use all the help I can get. Until then, here's this. It's morning once again, and time to say hello to the ducks. Hello, ducks. Ducky, 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 ducks.
This is what passes for wildlife in Orange County. What can I tell you?